Hi, welcome to programming in Lua and using Corona Simulator. In front of you is a parallax scroll or parallax stroller that I developed earlier. You must have seen my previous one on YouTube, but this one is more advanced than the previous one, and I like this. It's very good because you can see there's a road there and there's a car that's driving by and the car just loop just like the building and the trees are looping so what I would do next is take you guys straight into Corona and we'll start a new one but before then I'm just going to sort of like restart, restart this and you see the previous one that I developed earlier so let's go to close project and let me show you guys the previous one and right here, that's the previous one that I developed. This one is already on YouTube already. So let's go back to the new one. This is the new one. And I think I'll say you guys should look forward to my very first uh, app that I'll be developing soon. I will upload that into Google Play Store. So let's start a new project. So I'm just gonna close this. I'll go to File, New Project, and I'll just call that Parallax, Parallax Scroll, Parallax Scroller. Let's call that three. And make sure you select the blank template and select Sideways. I would then navigate to where I intend to save my work. I'll be saving that on my desktop and then click on OK. There, as you can see, Corona generated the following files. Right? And uh, if I double click on my main, which is the main file that I will be using for all the coding, if I double click on it, you guys will see that there's nothing in there. And there, there's nothing in there apart from the comments that is in there. But I've deleted that and just save it because I don't need those really. The next thing I intend to do is uh, I will have to get the images that I intend to use. Let me show you the image on the flash. That's it. I've just made up the image I intend to use. Okay, so let's minimize that and I'll save the image in onto my desktop as well. So I will now copy it straight into Corona folder. Okay, I'm back into Corona folder that I've created earlier on. I will now right click and paste the images right in there. Those are the images I intend to use that I've and uh, I'll be using this as well. there okay so let's go into lower development environment or lower editor well just before we go into lower editor let me show you guys the roads let's open that and so that you can see it that's the road I intend to use okay so close that so now let's make our way to lower editor let's double click on that so now we are in lower editor. The first thing I want to do is just to get the background ready. That's the background right there. Okay, so I will save that. Just let's run it and you guys see how the background will look like. So run that. That's the background. You see here I have the status bar. I don't really need those status bars. So let me get rid of that. So to get rid of the status bar, just uh, enter the following lines of code. Let me enter those lines of code right up here. You say display dot state status bar and open a bracket and you then say display dot hide as hidden status bar and that is it for that so I'm going to save that and let's give it a try okay that's the status bar right there so when we relaunch you see the status bar is all gone okay let's continue the next thing is to add my buildings there 
so I will now add the very first building right there so I'm going to save it and let's run it again and see there that's my very first building there so let's get the second building on board as well so maybe just copy that and paste that and change that to second building let's change this variable to tower to so let's change this as well there and change this to maybe I should change that to 480 and and that is for the second image okay so what will happen is when this very first image get towards the edge of the screen this very image will start and it will look like it's looping as you can see i've also entered the speed all right that's the speed for the movement of the images okay let's continue the next thing is uh, I will enter the following images as well or the following buildings which I've called tower you can see I have a color my buildings tower that's all the variables are tower 1, tower 2, tower 3 and I think I will also need tower 4 here so change that to tower 4 If I run this program now, you will see nothing will really happen. So let's just save it and run it. Nothing will happen to this very program. Let me change that to 480 and maybe maybe 250 here. Let's change that to 250. The y axis 250. Let's save that and compile and run okay what you see is just images of the whole buildings everywhere but nothing is really happening so we're going to make something happen but before then i think maybe i should get the roads right here before we start uh, the animation or the parallel scroll so like i said i just want the road let's get the road on board that is the road you can see uh, the road right here so save that let's run it and see okay we now have the road in place i think maybe this might be too high i don't know well uh, we can always change that anyway so what one thing one more thing that is remaining let's get the car right there yeah let's come down just enter the car there so with the car, I'm gonna need two of those. That's the first car. So let's come down so that you can see the codes. That's the very first car. If I save and run there, you'll be able to see the first car because it's far away. Okay, it's minus 100. But for if you guys want to see, let me just change that to maybe 300. Save. And that's the very first car but I want it to loop in so let me change that back to minus to minus 100 so for the second car that's the second car there so change the variable to second car car 2 as car number 2 and it's the same car you can see the image is the same car but I will then change the coordinate to 480 by 480 by 300. So if I run it, the y axis is 300. So if I run it, what you will see is as follows. Run it, you see the car right here. Okay, but if you want to see both cars, let me just come to maybe about 100 and you will see both cars anyway. That is both both cars, but minus hundred so that it will look when this disappear. This car will just come in. It will look like the car is actually looping. So let's change this to minus one hundred that it was before. That's good. So just before I continue, let me show you all of the codes again. There. 
scroll down so that you can see it all that those are the lines of code okay the next thing now is to write a function for the parallel scroll and right here we we'll enter as follows that's for the parallax scroll if i save it and run it for you guys nothing will happen okay nothing will happen so maybe i should even indent all of this so that it looks a little bit neater okay but then let me just uh, run the program save it and run it and show you just to prove to you nothing will happen right now okay nothing is happening apart from the other car is gone to minus 100 all right so as you can see nothing happened so why because this is because we need a listener okay to trigger the scroll so if I come in here all I need to do is let me move move it down so that you can see that I'll come in here and type the following lines of code. Those are the listeners that will or that will activate the images or that will cause the images to scroll along the screen. So if I save that, let's save that and although the buildings will scroll but the cars the car will not scroll. Let's see. You see the buildings are scrolling. So for us to make the car scroll, I'm gonna have to get a function down here and also create a listener for the car so let's copy this paste it there I'm gonna be I will change the variable to car and change this to minus 180 and this also to minus 90 okay you see even if I run it now nothing will happen so let's let's see if we change this we need to change that to let's go for minus one and see that should be one let's try out minus one i think minus one or plus one let's see what will happen nothing so let's change that to plus one i'm coming here save and refresh nothing is happening the reason why nothing is happening is that uh, yeah we do need we need an event listener for the car as well so those are the event listener for the car so run it let's let's relaunch the program and you can see that's it we have lift off the car uh, the cars are now moving but the problem is when this car gets here it will not loop back let's see what will happen and i also need some trees here to make it look busy the way it was as you can see it's not looping back well let's take care of that now so for the car itself to loop back i will declare the following can see a local function there I've also called a listener here that's the listener right there so if I now save okay I've called the the function and the name for the function is called move okay I've also declared format time and I've also used this very function get timer then current time of that very car okay let's just run it and see have a good look at the function for that looping of the car or scrolling of the car if I save it now come back here okay relaunch the simulator that's the first car gone you see the second car is now going on the highway that might take some couple of seconds just see what will happen now right here and there there we go that is it the car is now looping us as, as I wanted okay 
the one thing left I just need this uh, I need it a little bit busier I want some trees there so let's add some trees right here let's here let's make some space there get some trees in between just entering these comments so that I know where I'm going to enter my trees I want those trees okay let's get the trees there right there those are the trees you don't have to make yours as busy as mine but that's just how I want it really so let me show you guys the codes these are the lines of codes for the tree yeah, this one is just in case I want to change the tree to either one or two all right let's run it and see if I save and run can you guys see that those are the trees in place now and you can see the car looping and this sort of like look like uh, what you might call parallel projection because you can see the car going around and actually riding behind the trees look at that guys that's a very beautiful tutorial with that i'm just going to call it the end of this program but before i go let me just show you guys the codes from beginning that is it from beginning so i will scroll right down up to here so that you see the rest part of the program come right down take it down and scroll down here again that's where i have my car event listening and then those are the lines of codes for the tree and the car event listener as well and take it down there that's all of the codes so with that guys i'm just going to call it the end of this beautiful app so watch out for my first app on Google Play Store. So I'll just leave you guys with that. You all have a nice day now.